So my all time best eleven uh, at AFC Stockport. Uh, difficult one it was picking this. I thought it was going to be a bit easier than it was, but it wasn't. Um, going to go with a three five two formation, uh, as I think that always suited the first team, especially the first few years of when I joined. Um, maybe not so much now, but it was a commanding. Uh, attacking formation that we had and definitely suits the players that I've picked I think um, so I'll start um, Chris Murray in goal for sure uh, we've got some we've got some decent goalkeepers at this club and I've played with a few of them but you know they're all prone to making one or two mistakes uh, I hope you forgive me for saying that lads I'm just being honest but Chris is Probably out of that category, I reckon. Um, less likely to make mistakes. He stays switched on for long periods of the game where he's not in the game. Um, there's been times in matches where he's not touched the ball 20 or 30 minutes. He's stood there freezing. He'll openly admit this to, to you if you ask him. But he's there when you need him. Like I say, he could be stood there 20 minutes. Goes and makes a fantastic save. Um, keeps us keeps us in games, especially this season. Uh, owe him a lot, a lot. Uh, he makes some fantastic saves, um, and and he's a great guy to have around the around the team uh, in the change room. He's a good lad, so definitely Chris Murray would be my uh, number one goalkeeper. Uh, I'd have three at the back, starting with the left side of that. I'd have uh, Adam Ogden, uh, my current captain. Um, 280 games for the club one uh, one yellow card in that so you have ever reliable times his tackles you know he watches the game he reads the game he's a good guy to have around you know he stands up for, for what's right for the club he backs you um, and he's a, he's a you know he's a good player like I say he watches the game well he, he won't be in the first team <laughs> If he wasn't, and he wouldn't have been in the first team for the length of time that he's been in that team, he's definitely grown and grown, and he helps players around him, especially the new lads that we've got coming through. Uh, so definitely, I'd have Adam Ogden there. Next to him in the middle would be Mr T, Mr Andy Taylor, um, who would also captain this side. He's a fantastic leader. Um, I learned a lot from Andy when he was captain, when I was playing alongside him. He's commanding in the air, he makes sure he won balls, you know, he was relaxed on the ball, he was calm. He'd stop the ball and let a player run past him. He'd be aggressive when he needed to be and he'd rein it in when he needed to be too. And yeah, a real leader. His, his pre-game and half-time team talks were brilliant. I always took something from him and I definitely learned a lot from him when, when I became captain. Um, yeah, a great, great player. Um, alongside them, I'd have Ashley Grimes. Um, a fantastic, fantastic player, Ashley Grimes. is he's missed. I'd have him back in my team straight away. Um, he can play anywhere, absolutely anywhere, this guy. He never stops. He never stops. He runs all day. He's very vocal. He's passionate, which I love. I love about him. Yeah, well, I say he can play anywhere, but I'd, I'd have him in my back three, definitely, alongside Andy and Ogger. I feel that'd be a, a, a brilliant, a brilliant back line. All three of them understand the game very well and they'd work with each other fantastically. Protecting that back three, I'd have Joe Phillips, the king of the slide tackle pass. Joe is an absolute diamond of a player. He was brilliant. He made everything look really easy. He tried to make everything relaxed, tried to slow things down when it needed to be. His talking was brilliant. He knew how to get the lads rallied. He knew how to G them up. And uh, just a brilliant player to have in, in front of that back three, knowing that they've got to get through Joe first before our defenders need to do anything. So yeah, Joe, definitely have him in that defensive uh, midfield role for sure. Um, moving into my two centre midfielders I'd have Jamie Oldham Jamie Oldham 
God, I miss playing with that guy. Uh, I know I didn't play with him for that long, but he easily gets into this team, easily. He's just a magician, absolutely brilliant, gave everything, um, absolutely everything. He had a sweet left foot, it was brilliant, he could do wonders with that left peg. I just wish I got to play a little bit more with him. Um, alongside Jamer would have to be Daz, Daz Eves for sure. Um, 163 games, 162 goals, I mean that, that speaks volumes, it speaks for itself. Um, no midfielder gets anywhere near him and they'll, they'll never get anywhere near him he'll just be a legend of this club he's fantastic um, he wins games for you um, he won us our semi-final a few years back in the Paul Bailey when we went to extra time with Brinnington and, and these are the things I remember about Daz he worked this season he, he, he was working and he came and played the second half. He he come on at the second half, and he just turned the game around. This is what he has about him. When he's on the pitch, the players around him believe in him, and and I truly believe that they up their game playing alongside him. He's a fantastic, fantastic player. Absolutely honoured to have played with him for a good couple of seasons. Uh, and Daz, you know, he, he would be the first player on this team sheet, and 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 that's no joke. Uh, moving on to my two wingers. Uh, I'll start off with on the right the Jordan Andrew uh, the little ginger ninja absolutely fantastic player can breeze past players he's got pace, he's got energy to burn one player of the match award in, in all the games he's, he's been at the club uh, which is quite extraordinary I believe he just does enough for 60 minutes maybe and then relaxes but an absolute absolute Brilliant, brilliant player. I think assist wise, I think he's got one in two. Yeah, for every two games, he gets an assist. It's a fantastic record he's got, and he's one of the nicest people you'll ever speak to at the club. Um, so, yeah, Jordan Andrew would be on the right side for me. On the left hand side would be little Ben Higgs. I mean, oh, what a player this guy was. Keep your legs closed around this lad. Um, he might not have any speed, and he, he was in fact he was smaller than me, which is remarkable. But this kid could play football, and he, it was brilliant just being in a team around him and and watching him play. His vision, his touch, it a fantastic, fantastic player. And people who've played alongside him, you know, got nothing, nothing but praise for the guy. A fantastic, fantastic player. Can get you back into games quite easily, can make defenders just look silly. Uh, fantastic player, like I said. Moving on to my top two. Um, this was difficult because we've got some, we've got some and we've had some real good uh, strikers at this club uh, while I've been there and who I've played alongside. Um, but I'm happy with the two I've chose. Um, first of all, gone with Mike Briars. He's just a machine. Big, strong, and what I love about him is he, 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 you know, we can be a bit soft at this club sometimes. That's not not in a, not putting anyone down really that way. But as a club, we get intimidated sometimes. But not Mike. Mike's there giving it back as as much as he gets. He gives it back and he gets under the skin, and he wears them down, and then he pounces. And it's an amazing attribute to have, especially against some of the teams we come up against. I would easily have Mike Briars in that team. Uh, he's, a, he's a great, great player. For anyone that saw the footage uh, of the Davenport game I spoke about uh, a week or so ago, and you saw that goal that he scored when he went marching through, that's the, that's uh, that's Mike. That That's him all over, uh, and that's why he's in this team. Uh, alongside him, I'd have Anthony Royal, um, his figures speak for himself. Uh, seventy six games, a hundred and eleven goals. Um, at any level, any level, that is some record, and it's unbelievable. I only wish he played for the first team for a lot longer. Um, I believe we could well have won, won one or two more trophies than we did having Ant join us when he did, but. That's the way it is, uh, but he would definitely be in my team, definitely. 
Well, honourable mentions would go to five subs that I'd have. Um, these these five I've picked would would you know on another day easily jump into this team, but they've just been picked. But no disrespect to these players, I've played alongside them. I think they're all brilliant players, and they are Dave Clifton, Jamie Forward, Craig Travis, Dave O'Regan, and Adam Wilcox. Thank you.